Do you have one of these Stadia controllers? Well, you're in luck. Google announced on Friday last week there's going to be a tool available this week to enable Bluetooth connections on your Stadia controller. And you know what? It's already available. Now, previously, Bluetooth connections were only allowed for connected to like a Chromecast in order to connect to Google services. But since Stadia is going away, actually tomorrow as of the time of this recording, they've released this tool to enable Bluetooth connections to any device. Now, enabling Bluetooth is actually a pretty quick process. You just go to a website. It's stadia.google.com forward slash controller. You just follow the instructions right on the site. And I'm actually going to go through the instructions right now so we'll know exactly what we're dealing with. All right, so I have the controller right here. I'll have a top-down view of the controller to make it a little bit easier for everybody. And you'll see the website here, stadia.google.com forward slash controller. So now you have, this is play wirelessly Bluetooth and you switch to Bluetooth mode. So you want to click this button. All right, and so you have switch to Bluetooth mode and check mode and updates. So the check mode and updates is just a double check if Bluetooth is enabled on here and to check if there's any further updates past this. What we're gonna do is do switch to Bluetooth mode and we'll click on start. And then you just have to accept the terms of service and click start again. All right, now it wants us to connect the controller via the USB-C cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cable and plug it in. All right, now that I've got the controller connected, we're gonna go ahead and click on continue here and then allow Chrome to verify. And then it's gonna pop up. You're gonna click on the Stadia controller. It's gonna possibly say something different depending on what version of the controller you have but mine says stadia controller revision a so i'll click you have to highlight it by clicking it and then click connect all right so it shows on the screen obviously that there's a green check mark so it's detected the controller just fine so we'll do next step all right so it says unplug the controller completely power it off so we're going to unplug all right vibrated to power off all right so it wants us to hold down the three dots button here and then plug in the controller from what I understand, that's supposed to essentially allow it to not automatically turn on when you plug it in. So it says press three dots, this school assistant button, A and Y at the same time. There won't be any controller feedback. Go to the next step to confirm the unlocked. Download Bluetooth update, allow Chrome to download. So it says SP blank RT family. I'm not really sure what that means specifically, but this is the one option that comes up. So it's probably detecting this. So I'm gonna click connect. Downloading Bluetooth update. Download complete. Almost done. Go to the final step. Install the latest version of Bluetooth mode on your controller. Next step. And then allow Chrome to install. USB composite device. And then click connect. And now it looks like it's installing the update. So there was a few more steps than I expected, but it looks like it's pretty smooth. So right now it says the latest Bluetooth mode update is installed. Game on. All right, cool. Controllers in Bluetooth mode and compared to Bluetooth devices, you can now unplug your controller. Okay. And it actually gives you a button to set up another Stadia controller if you do have a second one. This process really didn't take all that long. So you just kind of <laughs> just pair a bunch of these and connect to Bluetooth. But let's disconnect this. And from what I understand, you just hold down the Stadia button. And when it vibrates and comes on, it's automatically set to Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm just going to go into my Bluetooth settings. All right, so it should show my system settings. So I'm on a Mac, so I go into Bluetooth settings and I see Stadia DH8X-854D. Such an elegant name. <laughs> so this is the Stadia controller. So it's still in Bluetooth pairing mode here. Okay, it's connected. It only took like a minute or two and this is the very first time I'm doing it. So if you have a bunch of controllers, it might take like 15 or 20 minutes because you do have to do one controller at a time. But I am really glad that Google's decided to create this update and provide it to everybody so that they can still use the Stadia controller. And what's even better is that if you paid for the Stadia controller, Google has probably already refunded you for it. So this is just a free controller that you get to now use on really any device. If you like that video, I'll be making a lot more just like it. So go ahead and click here to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.